Good day to all you fellow photographers. Recently, with our chief editor, we did a little bit of market research and had a look to see what was a common topic or question in terms of photography and Zoner Photo Studio X. Well, to our surprise, we came across a reoccurring subject, and that was how do you create a circular crop within Zoner Photo Studio? So naturally, let's go take a look. Okay, so we've already got a photo ready to go here in the editor module. And the first step we'll take is duplicating the layer. This isn't a necessary step, but if we mess something up along the way, we can always rescue the situation by coming back to the original photo. To wrap up this backup plan, let's hide it up now because the entire process should be successful and we won't need to actually return to it. We'll now be working with this main layer here. The first thing we need to do now is pick the correct tool to create the circular selection. We'll find that naturally here in the selection tools and let's use the elliptical selection. Now by using the mouse, we can create any sort of ellipse that we want. But because we want a circle and we'd spend a really long time trying to create a perfect circle this way with the ellipse, let's just hold the control and shift key and now we've got a perfect circle that we can move around. Let's do it one more time just in case. Open, hit Control and Shift, and use your mouse to change the size like this. Once we've got the size we want, just let go, and now you can move your circle around to the position you want to make our crop. Next, right click on the layer itself, move to the mask option, and hit Reveal Selection. We can hit escape now to get rid of the selection now and the next step we need to take is to click here on the link mask with layer. This separates the two from each other and now we can manipulate each of them individually. Now don't worry that the chain icon here is still lit up and think that it didn't work. Notice that when we move our mouse away from the icon it turns gray. Now click on move and transform and because we separated the layer from the mask here we can freely move the circular selection around. Check out what happens when I link the mask with the layer again. And as we can see, we're now moving both the mask as well as the layer at the same time. Hit Ctrl Z to go back to the former setting we had and click on the chain link again. And if needed, we can still move or change the size of the crop to just how we want it. It just depends on you. Once it's ready, hit apply, and now we just need to crop the photo. When we're ready to do this, we'll need to right click on this mask here and select set mask as selection. I'm not going to click it right away though, as I want to show you why we need to take this step. Say we want to crop this photo right now, and so we click up here on the selection tab, only to find out that the crop option is faded and it's not available as an option. And the reason behind that and that why it's shaded like this is because we don't have our mask selected here in our layer and Zoner Photo Studio X simply doesn't know what we want to crop. So let's fix that. Right click here on the mask, hit set mask as selection. And now when we go up to the selection tab, notice that the crop option is now available. So let's crop. And now we're done. You can export this as a PNG file, which means it's going to have a transparent background. And that will end up looking just like this. And that's it for this video. I hope this was a useful tip for you. Give us a thumbs up. Let us know what you think below. We're open to fresh ideas and things that you guys want to see. So let us know. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Until then, Take care, have a good one.